Hi there. In this video, I'm going to show you how to insert equations into Microsoft Office Forms. So you can see here, I've already started with a quiz. I've entered four different questions, and I'm going to show you how to insert each of these in turn. Number one is, well, it says, which of these is not an equation of motion? And for each of the answers, I've inserted an equation. Now, I've actually managed to do this within Forms alone. And as I said, I'll show you how to do that. For the second question, I've inserted an equation of motion. S is ut plus half a t squared. Now, this is an equation which is within the body of the question, and you can't do that within Forms alone. What I've had to do is I've had to use two different websites in order to get some of these characters to insert to make up that equation. As I said, I'm going to show you how to do that anyway. For the third question, that's much like the second, I've inserted in the body of the question this equation here, which is a gas law. P1, V1 is P2, V2. The actual answer is that's Boyle's law. And the last thing I'll show you to do, how to do is I'm going to show you how to insert special characters like this one here, which is omega, which is obviously a Greek letter. And of course, that stands for ohms, for resistance. So let's start all the way back up to question number one. I'm going to recreate part of this question anyway. First thing I'll actually do is I'll copy the question and I'm pressing Command C and I shall start by adding new and I'm adding a new multiple choice question. What I'll also do is I'll uncheck maths and subtitle. They're normally, uh, as a default, they're unchecked. So we'll start with the question. The question was, if you remember, which of these is an equation of motion? And I'm going to have four different options. So I'm clicking add option. I'll not actually type in each of these. So for the first option, I want to enter S is equal to UT plus half AT squared. That's an equation of motion that we use in higher physics. How we do that is I'm going to click down here and I'm going to re-click that uh, option for maths. So what I want to do now is if I click in this box here, it's going to give me all these special characters that I can enter. So I can enter my equation by just typing in S is equal to UT plus, and I'm just using the keyboard for this, S is UT plus one half. I can insert one half either by pressing one slash two, and it converts that to a fraction. But the other way I can do that, I'm just deleting that, is I can click here, and I'm going to enter one, and then the down arrow, then two, and then I'm going to click to the right hand side and enter AT and then this button here. And of course, I would just using a similar process, I would enter the equations I like for options two, three and four. Now, what I've done there is I've just inserted these equations for the four different answers. But if, say for the next question, if I wanted to insert the same equation, there's S is UT plus half AT squared into the body of the question. That's not possible using forms alone. So of course the question is, how did I do it? Well, I'll delete that equation and I'll start typing it up. You'll see as well, if I click maths here, I don't have, if I click up in this part here, I don't have the option of actually typing in an equation. It's only allowing me to insert text. So I'm going to uncheck maths, I'm going to uncheck subtitles, I'm going to go back to the question itself. A question says the equation, and it should say s is ut plus half a t squared, can be derived from, and the answer is, the area under a velocity time graph. So I'm going to start typing anyway, s is equal to ut plus, in order to insert one half, I guess I could do one over, whoops, one over two, one slash two, that looks a bit big. So I don't really want that. So I'm going to delete, and at this point, I'm going to in introduce you to a new website, this one here. Now, within the description, I'll actually put in the URL for this, and it's pillyapp.com forward slash symbol forward slash. As I said, that'll be in the description. I'm going to go down on the left-hand side, so where it says math symbol, click one half, and up here, I'm going to click copy, back to the form, back into the equation. So I've got S is UT plus press Command V to paste the half, and then I've got A, T. If I want square, I can go back into that website, and beneath where it says counting symbols, fraction symbols, under unit symbols, I can click this one here for squared, but I'll get rid of that half first. 
click squared, copy to the clipboard, back to the form and command V to get that into the equation. Now, that's one option. Maybe that doesn't look quite as nice as say the equation up here for the, you know, the first question, but it's the only way that we can get an equation into the body of the question. One other option, I guess, is we could slightly change the question. So rather than saying the equation S is UT plus half a T squared can be derived from, what I could do is I could enter that maths mode again. So I could say the equation below. And if I then click here, if I click maths, it gives me what's called this thing here, a subtitle. So we'll say the equation below can be derived from, I can only insert using forms itself an equation into this line here. So at that point I could enter S is equal to UT plus one half AT squared. Okay, now you can see the text for our answers looks rather odd and that's because it thinks Microsoft Forms of course thinks that each of these lines is an equation. So I'm going to click here where it says switch to text. So this is obviously not maths, this is text. And there we go. I, personally, I would rather use that website and I would get the equation looking how it was within the body of the question itself. I don't like this format. So if I click away, you'll see how the question would look to pupils or someone who was answering this. The equation below can be derived from S is UT plus half a T squared. No. Mm. Not as nice, I don't think, as having it within the body of the question, like in the next question. But you have the option. So the next question, what I've done is I have placed this equation here, which is a gas law, into the body of the equation, or the body of the question, I should say, again. Now, what I've done is I've actually used a slightly different website. Let me delete this. So the question should say the equation P1V1 is equal to P2V2 is also known as, and as I said before, the answer is Boyle's Law. So we start with P, then I want to insert a subscript one, but I'll just type PV is equal to PV. Now, this equation symbol that we saw before, we do have an option actually of inserting subscripts and superscripts. So in fact, I could just copy and paste from this, but I'm going to try another website, which is often a quick a, a quicker version of using that symbols website. And this is called Tiny Text Generator. So to insert those little subscripts, what I do is on the left hand side, I'm going to type the number one. And over here, it places the number one either in small caps or in superscript or in subscript. I'm going to copy, in fact, I'm going to highlight the number one here in subscript. Press Command C to copy it back into the form. And between the P and the V, I'm going to press Command V. So I've got P1, same after the capital V, to give me P1, V1, and I want to click here and I want to type P2, V2. So back into that website, insert the number two, select, then Command C to copy that subscripted number two, Command V to paste after the letter P, and again after the letter V, and there we have it. Now again, I could have done all of that in form, so again, I could have changed it like the previous question, and I could have said the equation below is also known as, and within the question, I could have typed then a P1V1 is P2V2. But I think it, personally, as a physicist, I think it makes it look an awful lot neater if the equation is in the body of the question itself. So that's not an option, not at the moment anyway, within forms. So that's why I use these other websites. Now, last but not least, some symbols as well are very difficult to insert in forms unless you know certain uh, character codes and so on. So basically, if you wanted to insert a question like this, the voltage across a resistor is 12 volts, the current in the resistor is two amps, the resistance of the resistor is, and I obviously want to insert this symbol here, omega, which of course stands for ohms. What I would be using, I'll delete all of this, and of course that first option is four, so press four space. In order to get this symbol, of course I'm going all the way back to that first website. And if you know anything about these symbols, you'll know that of course that is from the Greek language. So I'm gonna click language symbols, and there I can see the Greek symbols. Where's the one I'm looking for? It's here. So in fact, get rid of that number two, that was from previously. 
and click Omega, copy to the clipboard, enter forms again. Just after that space, I'm going to click Command V, paste in the Omega, and that's us. So hopefully this has helped. So you'll see that some equations we can place, like that first question right up at the top. So we can actually place equations into forms using forms itself. But if we want to, like those questions, uh, let's say this question here, if we want to insert an equation into the body of the question itself, right into the middle of the question, we'll have to use possibly a website like this or our tiny text generator. So of course, if this has been helpful, then what you might want to do is you might want to subscribe to the channel, ring that bell so that you're made aware of when new videos are released. It's up to you. Anyway, we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.